During this pandemic, we all but invented a new system. What we play here is picked up by microphones and transmitted to the hall. And we hear the singers who perform at the opera house. We even see them. Yes, the orchestra pit's empty because they can't be there due to physical distancing regulations. We have a rehearsal venue for the orchestra, which is about one kilometer from the opera house, where we are. That's where the orchestra plays during rehearsals and performances. We installed about 60 microphones and a video camera there. All audio signals are received separately, thanks to a Ravenna stream over a fiber optic link. We distribute those signals all across the hall. We don't work with a simple stereo mix. We placed 10 loudspeakers in the orchestra pit. Thanks to special SSW software based on sound objects, we can distribute our signals in such a way that they're reproduced by the desired speakers. We can even emulate a choir entering the stage simply by moving the relevant objects. Over 90% of our audience were simply stunned. Some of them even told us that when they closed their eyes, they could have sworn that the orchestra was playing in the pit. This project was inspired by the lockdown situation. Our mission was to find a way of making opera performances possible regardless. In times of uh, necessity like we had, I think this is a very good way to be able to continue to produce and to perform opera. I had to, to adapt. It was not the real thing like in the orchestra pit of the opera house, but uh, I could manage. What I can say is that it worked very well. We didn't have any any time gap between uh, the, the sound and the coming back of the sound from the singers. So it was a, a very, very good situation from my uh, point of view. The response of the singers and all others involved has changed quite a bit. At first, most of them wouldn't believe that our approach could work. They were especially wary of signal delays. We managed to show them, though, that our system is virtually latency-free. The overall audio latency is a mere 4 to 5 milliseconds between any microphone and any of the 80 speakers. The audio monitors in this rehearsal venue are crucial because we need to hear the singers while we play. I believe our approach is quite remarkable. We obviously use cameras, microphones and devices for signal transfer. But with our solution, the soloists still perform on stage, singing live to the audience. Only the orchestra and choir are added using sophisticated sound reinforcement. This is quite rare, and we're happy with the result. Our challenge was to transmit audio, video and intercom signals from A to B and vice versa, with near zero delay. Synchronization plays an important part, especially for the conductor camera signals. We use a central master clock that controls all devices to keep latency in check. The entire signal chain from the cameras, the router and of course the V Remote 4 all the way to compliant display screens are synchronized. Obviously, you also need a fast or rather high bandwidth dark fiber link. What we do here is quite unique. As a repertory house, we change sets twice a day. This means that each microphone is moved at least twice every day. Even the speakers in the pit are frequently repositioned. I don't think we would have been able to stage full-blown opera performances without our system, and I'm proud of what we achieved.